So you get the purple baby glove and I get the other one, the fancy velvet windsock. I think this used to be this used to be the uh, the a little pouch for Crown Royal. They had like a miniature. I'm taking this one, right? Yeah. They had a miniature Crown Royal bottle in there. What? They used to have a miniature Crown Royal bottle uh -huh. in there. Good morning. What's his name? You tired now. Okay. So the first hill we attack. This is the top of number two hill repeat. And down past Alvin again. Hello Alvin. Here you go. Yep, there was another dog that Alvin was looking at. Down through the glory zone. And these are the people that explain to us about the money rock. Hello big dog. Hello smaller dog. <laughs> So this is Glen Denning coming down, down, down. And just past that large uh, Douglas fir tree is very close to our turnaround, probably closer to where that dog is way off in the distance. As I step my way around the roots rocks on this section, trying desperately not to crash. See where Norma is. There she is, coming down. Nice crisp Sunday morning. A nice day for hill repeats. Uh, hello. hello. Hi. You looking for the money rock? No. No. That's our stuff there. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. We're doing repeats. We're coming up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh, good job. Yeah, each time I get here, I have to mark another completion. for you. This is for me. And the scorecard. No, I'm going to blink. Carlos blink. So you get the purple baby glove and I get the other one, the fancy velvet windsock. I think this used to be, this used to be the, uh, the, a little pouch for Crown Royal. They had like a miniature. I'm taking this one, right? Yeah. They had a miniature Crown Royal bottle in there. What? They used to have a miniature Crown Royal bottle uh -huh. in there. Good morning. You're tired now. Okay. So the first hill we attack. The first hill on a chilly Sunday morning. Got my gloves on. I changed my mind about not wearing them. Mainly to protect my hands if I do come down. I have tripped on the 
on this path before. Glen Denning going up, up, up. I started saying up, up, up when I used to run with Graham because I used to have to fill him in on why things were getting hard. <sighs> Over the rooty section, this is where I tripped once. And it flattens off a little bit. So this is about the same time as last week. So we'll probably see the same number of dogs. Oh dog. Hello. 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 Couple of well couple of happy dogs. Just getting up to the top of the first hill. And then we get the glorious downhill section. I have to remember I have my good camera with me. 128, 2.5k from home. Well, that's interesting. If it's 2.5 to the top of the first hill from home, I could do an out and back for 5k just by doing one hill repeat from home. Just run to the post and down again. Morning. Mind you, the, the nice thing about doing eight repeats is you get those nice little eight points on the graph. Altitude points. So I'm doing the old belt and braces today. I've got my watch calibrated for the stride length. I've got my heart rate strap on. I've got Samantha listening listening for my heart and I'm listening with my earbuds to Samantha. Norma is puffing away at the back there. I can hear her. She's having trouble breathing today. That's something I didn't expect to hear. It sounded like a bee. B. I'll have to ask her what she's listening to in a minute. Just getting up to the turnaround at the bottom. We're getting down to the turnaround. Hello. Wow, five dogs all at once. Yeah. Not a bark amongst them. Hello, dog. Oh, yeah. 
Up we go again. It's not the money rock in your hand, is it? No, no. <laughs> it looks like a bottle of Crown Royal. Oh, that's not a rock. That's I thought it was a rock. Have you seen the money rock? Do you know no. about the money rock? No, no. Here? Are you geocaching? No, no, we're not. We're doing, we're doing hill, hill repeats. Repeat. Oh. So every time we get back here, oh. I'll knock off another tick. We're oh, going up to the post and then back down again. There's a group in Victoria that hides a rock. Now I have to tell you. Yeah. Uh, you can follow them on Facebook. It's called Flex It Friday. Okay. And there's money in the rock. So sometimes oh. there's 500, sometimes there's 1,000. Oh. They, take, oh, a I to join this group. they yeah. take a photo of where they've hit it. But of course, it's like, Under you know, yeah. you, so it could be anywhere. Yeah. And then people search the city for the money rock. Oh, I'll Do be they looking always up. find it? Uh, most often, and it's sponsored by businesses. Uh, yeah, it's cool. very interesting. Uh, anyway, yeah. we'll see you guys again because we'll be coming down. <laughs> it's going to mess up our pace a little bit. You remember the other day when we saw that painted rock on that post down at the bottom near the that little dog park thing that isn't a dog park? Mind you, there was no little box for them to put the money in. But that's curious. The money rock, eh? Now we know. The guy looked familiar. I'm not sure if I knew him from running or what. He might have been a teller at the bank, for all I know. Ah. Oh. Up we go. There they go. The playful dogs. Hi there. Hi, good morning. He looks like an Alvin. Go on, Alvin. Up you go. And another bit of running. Coming by. So those people thought that Norma's voice recorder was the money rock. And another little bit of hiking. Let me start my camera on this one. So this is the top of number two. So once again, for the viewing audience, this is the top of number two, he'll repeat, and down past Alvin again. Hello Alvin, here you go. Yep, there was another dog that Alvin was looking at. Down through the glory zone. And these are the people that explain to us about the money rock. Hello, big dog. Hello, smaller dog. <laughs> Alright, so this is Glen Denning coming down, down, down. And just past that large uh, Douglas fir tree is very close to our turnaround. 
probably closer to where that dog is way off in the distance. As I step my way around the roots and rocks on this section, trying desperately not to crash. Let's see where Norma is. There she is. Clever me on. Nice crisp Sunday morning. A nice day for hill repeats. Uh. Hello. Hello. You looking for the money rock? No. No. That's our stuff there. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. We're doing repeats. We're coming up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh, good job. Yeah, each time I get here, I have to mark another completion. Uh, no, <laughs> we, sleep, we keep stopping to talk to people. Anyway, it's all fun. Yep, you two will be coming by soon. So Norma two and Carlos two. What are you listening to today? What are you listening to? Um, protocols for reversing dimension. Good only. That's quite a topic. Yeah, it's great. And I think I would qualify a lot of what we're doing here as hit. High intensity? Yeah, if you're going so hard they can't really do another step, that's hit. Yeah, I know, but... And that increases BDNF in the brain, which is a neuro... something that encourages neuronal growth. Well, this isn't a good idea for ones that are popping off you can make new ones. Well, for me, it's more like I'm controlling it by whether I can speak or not. If I can't speak, then I'm getting close to being high intensity. So my, my uh, dialogue diminishes the higher the intensity. Hello, coming by. Up we go. Up we go. Hi. Another walk break. My intensity got the better on me. So basically, this intensity training is helping to prevent dementia. Hi there. So I've done my video trailer for today on the next one. On number four I'll take a few photographs. So I'm now I'm now running aerobically rapidly to become anaerobic. Run about here. Another large group of people. Hello. Hi. Hello there. Nice stick. Up we go. So, we're now at 3.7k 
and my heart rate is around 130. What's your heart rate? Eighty-five. I don't believe that. Eighty-six. But anyway, yeah. you're certainly. If you breathe through your nose. If you can, yeah. You're at least nitrous oxide, which dilates it. Another reason to breathe through your nose. So I've got a few more pictures now. I've got a trailer video, I've got four pictures, and down we go. I'll take a few more pictures on the way up. So this will be three when we get to the bottom. Hello again. <coughs> I just heard a bee again. Warm enough for bees. Hello. Hi, dog. Hello. Through the leaves. This is not quite ankle deep in leaves, but. They do obscure the view of the trail somewhat. I have my road shoes on today, so I'm being super cautious where I step. Yeah, because I'm always having a bit of trouble breathing through her nose. My nose is a little blocked at the moment. Nothing too serious. Hello. Morning. Coming down on the scoreboard once again. The scorecard. take advantage of this lead that I've got here to take a few pictures at the bottom. It's easier for me to wrestle with the camera with these gloves than with the other ones. Oh yeah, I got an action shot of you blurry in motion. a little longer for the camera to register that photograph because I was pointing it up at the sky which meant that it had to take into account the extra no thank you the extra lumens I just have to remember to write the next tick on the scorecard I'm glad I had my watch going because Samantha's giving me nothing but nonsense today. I think an extra layer of sleeving is stopping the heart rate impulse given to the phone. Alright, so up we go on number four. Less to talk about each time. Unless, of course, we meet some yapping dogs. Oh, this, little, this little kid is running. Good running. 
Good running. Hello there. That's good. Good work. You ran all the way down the hill by yourself. She did. I was so worried she was going to trip. Hi there. So much energy. Yes, always. I was so worried that he was going to trip that I stopped running in case I spooked him. You know how sometimes kids get excited and they raise their arms Not up. No, it's, but you know, it might have spoiled a nice running experience for him. He was subverbal. I mean, he was making noises, but he wasn't talking. That kid was not much more than nine or ten months old and running. Pretty amazing. Kid can't talk, but he can run. A precocious little chap. This looks like a gun dog. The sort of dog you take on a shoot with you to retrieve the uh, the quarry. Hi there. Hi. What breed of dog is that? She's a German short-haired pointer. Okay. She looks like a good dog for retrieving if you were out hunting. She would be. She's a companion for hunters. Yeah, but, but you're... Not, we're not hunters. No, no, me neither. Yeah. yeah. Up we go. So it tells me halfway. Last week we were at the post when it said halfway. But that is on an eight kilometer distance. So... Obviously, we're going to cover more ground coming downhill, but the distance is about 100 meters short of the top of number four. Last week, I was just turning the post when she said halfway. All right, top of four. And back. Sorry? Correcting through. Yes. Another one of these health tips. What are they? Yeah, because your liver is a detoxifier. Yep. So it accumulates the toxins in there. Well, that's what I'm thinking is you helping help with my sauna. You something that helps it make glutathione. Oh, glutathione. Something I haven't come across before. Would sauna help for that? Oh, she can't hear me. All right, so this will be an uninterrupted run back to the bottom. I heard an owl just then. My wife used to be a research scientist, so she's very interested in current findings. Over the rooty section once again and down. And I'm at the bottom. Oops. 
So that's four done. Number five. I've been out for 48 minutes so far. I think I need 72 today to make my target of 10 hours. I must say, taking the pace a little bit easier is really helping in my basic level of health. Firstly I have more air to talk. Secondly I have less craving for calories. Yep, I can honestly say I'm healthier now, now than I was five years ago when I was drinking quite a lot more than I am now. Oh. Samantha is giving me nonsensical heart rate readings. I can believe my watch more than Samantha today. Hello, dogs. Oh, okay. She's like, you just can't, like, she's like, you can't let this happen. Off you go. Quite a few dog scratchings around here. There are popular places for the dogs to pee. And then they sniff and scratch. Yep. You'll probably notice that each of the hill repeats will be less and less dialogue until we get to the last one. This is the top of five. I might find Norma dropping off the pace a little too much for me here. I'm at a dilemma whether to back off and wait or just run our hills independently. Okay, top of five. When I get to the bottom, five and back down so are you still listening to the li liver the story of the liver I hear a bee buzzing around it's a little bit late in the season for bees you think they'd be inside a tree keeping warm Good morning. Hello, doggy. A little version of Natasha. I'm going to take a picture of this tree because I think it might be the last year for this one. It's rotten. It's lost all its branches and uh, the stormy season hasn't really started yet. So that might be the last time we see this one standing. 
I've let Norma go ahead now, so we will get to the bottom at the same time. That magic tree is halfway up the climb. Yep, she always steps through this rooty section. She's wearing sunglasses, which probably not a good idea today. Hello. So, when I get to the bottom, there'll be three more to do. I might try, try and take out some dead air space once I synchronize the two recordings. As I get to the score card one more time. So five point zero five kilometers done. I'll have a drink today at this stage. Thank you. Did you want me to carry your phone? I wouldn't want you to mess up the recording. Go away, dog. Go away. Go away. Off you go. All right. Oh. <coughs> We're coming up again. Hello, dog. Up we go. Dogs always seem to like sniffing at Norma's water bottle when she takes a drink. I now have a companion dog. Go back. Go back. He doesn't want to go back. Sometimes when you start running, the dogs take it as an invitation. Hi. We're leaving our scent here for sure. Having done this repeat a few times. Oops. Up we go. That's the magic tree. One more time. Excuse me. Noma has soda water in her water bottle. So I'm swallowing not only water but gas.
I'll take a picture of this turnaround post from 50 meters. Seems incredible that Donovan Bailey could do this distance in about three seconds. Maybe it's a bit more than 50 meters. I was just saying, if that's 50 meters away, Donovan Bailey could have done it in three seconds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe not three seconds, but four and a bit. Because he was doing the 100 meters in sub 10, that's for sure. All right, top of six. It's always so much nicer now. The last one is almost insignificant. Oh, a dog again. Hi there. Check. Did you notice it had one blue eye and one brown eye? The dog? Yeah. Somebody <coughs> told me it We've means... We've seen it before. Yeah. One of Al's dogs was like that. It could be that, or it could be that it's part a crossbreed. Yeah. I think she's wrong, but I don't really know. Oh, well, maybe it was hazel. Pardon? Maybe it was hazel and blue. Yeah, yeah. Two recessives. Hello. See, that dog has one brown eye and one blue eye. There was another dog with mismatched eyeballs. She gets a little dogmatic sometimes, my wife. She is very smart, but she does get things wrong sometimes. Hello. Hi. Last few strides before the turnaround for so having done six, just about to start seven. Six done. Yay. You ready? What are we on? Six. Alright, take a hike break. Hi. So I have collected so far three contributions for the Jackal Radio. Radio Jackal. En Francais.
Have you noticed the French? They switch the orders of words sometimes. Like the English would say, heart rate, and the French would say, rate of the heart. Beautiful weather, absolutely pristine, clean air. That's what we thrive on out here clean air most of the time, except for the forest fires, which are so noticeable when the wind does carry the ash into the upper atmosphere. Sometimes you can taste it. A few weeks ago we tasted the smoke in the air. Yep. One of the reasons I enjoy podcasting so much is that I get to describe all this beautiful stuff that I get to see. Hello. And up. There's my friend Al once again. Hello, Al. It's a popular spot for dogs. It is. Norma was asking me, she says, what are all these marks? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, that's the dog scratching. Ah. They're all well, over the place here. It's a good place for dogs. Yeah. Unfortunately, people bring their dogs where they shouldn't. Like yeah. where there's mi migratory birds. Yeah, that's true. Island View Beach. It must get pretty, pretty crazy out there. Oh, it's Yep. So we just finished seven. Got one more to do and then home. Good. Good stuff. After he said we did six. No, we've done six. Oh. This is the top of seven. Great. Yeah, I've been reading a good book. It's uh, called Be Water, My Be Friend. What's it called? Be Water, My Friend. Be Water. Be Water, My Friend. Oh, by yeah. Shannon Lee, the daughter of Bruce Lee. Oh, okay. Very good book about life's lessons. Yeah, I guess running downhill like water, follow, like the, water, but follow you, the path you, of least resistance. You put a log in the water yeah. and water goes around, right? So it, it flows even when there's an obstruction. Uh -huh. And Bruce Lee discovered that once when he was in a boat. He was angry and he punched the water. Yeah. And he realized that the water just came right back. Yep. It just flows. Anyway, Look, I better catch up with. I better catch up with. Okay, okay. So I will see lots you later. Of life's lessons in there. I'm sure. I'll look it out. Be water, my friend. Be water. I will. Alright. Yep. Yeah. He's a friend of mine from Facebook and from running. Close neighbor as well, actually. He lives off Lambrick Park, literally off the side of the fence at Lambrick Park. Once again. Hello. Yep. 
Got seven done. Five, six, seven. One more and we're finished. To run at least past where Al is coming down. I will probably hike before I get after I get past him, just to keep the pressure on a little bit. This is the last one. The last one is always fun. And hike. Yeah, that took a little bit more out of me that time. Heart rate, 140. <sighs> it is fun not being tired too much. But some of the stats that Samantha has been giving me in the past have been bang on. And just recently with the colder weather I've started wearing more sleeves and that blocks the very weak radio signal from my armband. Up through the glory zone. Past the magical tree. And hike. One last push, and I got the post for the last time. So, so this is the last one. It always seems easier from three in. It seems like it's nothing. But I don't say I could do another two, but I probably could. I like the sun. Yeah, well, that's the problem. It blocks what limited vision you have anyway because of the sunglasses. Yeah, well, this leaf litter doesn't help. I'm the sun. I'm the sun yeah. my eyes up. Well, you got another minute to put up with it, and then we're going with the sun behind our right shoulders towards home. Because coming down Glendenning now, the sun is directly in our faces through the trees, which is that effect that they talk about. They used to mention it on those driving shows about some of those long, straight highways in France with trees along the side of the road that at a certain speed, the flickering light of the trees was attributed to people having minor conniptions at the wheel because of the stroboscopic effect of the flickering light. 
people who are prone to epilepsy. Somewhat like the video game Flickr that they were talking about back in the 80s. That probably doesn't happen so much now with the high resolution screens that the kids are using to play their games on. Hello dog. Alright, so this is pretty much where I'm going to say goodbye to you here at the bottom of eight and then I'll take the recorder off my wife and head for home to do my editing. Alright, so this is the running jackal and Norma just finishing off our eight hill repeats. Bye-bye.